hello, my current telescope mount is too heavy. I want to get a lighter one, and the AM5 looks perfect. But there's a problem. On ZWO's Frequently Asked Questions page, item number 16, it says that they don't recommend using this mount with telescopes over 900 millimeter focal length. Now that's a problem because my telescope is over 2000 millimeters, which is almost three times that recommended value. I looked around on Astrobin and saw other people using my telescope with this mount and their pictures seem to be coming out just fine. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on one. And here it is, look at that. Nice and lightweight and it is beautiful. But the question remains, can it handle that long focal length or not? So tonight we're gonna to strap my telescope to this thing and see if I just wasted two grand. Stay tuned, cause that test starts right now. Now the nice thing about having a mount that's this light is that you can assemble it in the house and then just carry it out to wherever you're gonna set up at. I don't necessarily recommend that you do that because this is uh, still kind of heavy when it's all put together and the last thing you want to do is drop the whole shebang. But you could, if you wanted to, carry the whole thing out there all at once. Now that's pretty cool. I could not have done that with my old telescope mount. All right, everything's plugged in and we're ready to go. All I've got to do is wait for it to get dark and see what this thing can do. Okay, that's a five minute subframe uh, with the luminance filter. Uh, this is a monochrome camera, so you're not gonna see any color in it. And that is M101. Uh, you can see up here my tracking is consistently about 0.5 every now and then it, it goes up to about 0.6 or so um, but i've seen it even drop down below 0.5 so uh, this is super impressive so i don't know why people are talking about this at all because that mount handled this like a champ it worked every bit as well as my EQ6R Pro, and sometimes it even worked better. Not only did it take this amazing picture of the pinwheel galaxy, but it's the best picture of a galaxy that I've taken to date. Now, I still don't have a whole lot of astrophotography experience, but I think that this mount is gonna help me get to where I wanna be. So if you have a long focal length telescope and you're thinking about this one, I can't tell you whether or not it'll work for you, but I can say that it definitely works for me and I'm very pleased with it. I'll be doing several more videos about how to get the best performance out of the AM5. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you had fun or learned anything today, do me a favor, hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys and I love it when you give me recommendations because that helps me get better too. So clear skies.